Karibu katika sehemu ya pili ya jarida tukiwa bado tunaangazia na kuzungumzia matokeo ya KCSE mwaka 2023. Matokeo haya yamekuaje? Yamekuwa na gumzo tele. Wengine wakilalamika kwamba wa idadi ya watu ambao ama ya wanafunzi watahiniwa wanapata alama sija za kujiunga katika vyuo ni idadi kubwa sana ikiweza kuibua maswali watenda wapi lakini vile vile tunafahamu kwamba pia kuna tivets uh, vyo vya kiufundi ambao vimewekwa lakini je watajiunga vipi na vyo vya kiufundi tathmini sera zinasema nini kuhusiana na hao na wale laki, mo, laki mbili uh, na takriban elfu moja ambao watakuwa na jiunga na vyo vikuu nao watapata nafasi zipi je watapata zile nafasi wanazozihitaji manake unapata kwamba wengi wanaenda kuitisha kozi moja lakini baadaye unapata kwamba kozi hiyo haiwezi kufunzwa wote vile vinavyohitajika masero yeah. tuliona kama mwaka uliopita wale ambao walikuwa wanawasilisha maombi yao kupitia kupsa ambao umeitaja uh, wengi wanaitisha aeronautical wanataka kuwa madaktari mm. wanataka kuwa wahandisi lakini hakuna vyo vya kutosha na ya kutoa idadi hii wako takriban laki mbili ambao wanafaa kujiunga na na, na vyo vikuu sasa hivi Yeah. inawekwa vipi ili watu waweze kupata kile kinachowa kinachowafaa um, i think kwa saa hii um, ni shule pia uh, i think tunafaa kuwa ku invest into career development and guidance ndio watoto kabla wanawafanye mtihani uh, akuwe anajua strength zake na great zikikuja akuwe ako sure ye, nataka kwenda kufanya hii course ni ukiangalia kitambo kidogo uh, some years back uh, as ilikuwa mingi <laughs> mm -hmm. so watu waliingia this is courses to say serious wengi mm -hmm. but wengi wa made drop off ukiangalia hizi statistics from uh, the universities you will see hawako wanaenda kumaliza so cha muhimu na cha msingi ni mwanafunzi kujielewa uh, strength yake ngasha hapa anasema yeye yeah, anataka kufanya computer science mm -hmm. uh, niko na imani kuwa ameguidiwa vizuri anaelewa what it takes so ndio mwanafunzi asichague uh, course kwa sababu watu wana wanataka kuna hizo kwa mfano sisi kama shirika huwa tuna guide wanafunzi kuchagua courses mm -hmm. bado unapata mzazi analazimisha mwanafunzi afanye course fulani so hapa ni nafaa tukue kama community we discuss ndio tusijaribu kusukuma mtoto uh, kwa you know penye afai now when it comes to uh, positions zile nafasi zenye ziko kwa hizi um, uh, courses mm -hmm. uh, ziko limited kwa sababu ya infrastructure and resources kwa mfano uh, medicine ni course ambayo inahitaji a lot of uh, you know resources in terms of uh, developing a, a doctor mm -hmm. sasa hapa ni maybe we tunafaa tukua na hii conversation kama taifa mm -hmm. how do we invest i know kuna a lot of changes katika the education system uh, i know uh, kuna hii presidential task force kuna the cbc there is a lot of changes but then i wish sure that is changes zote zina tuna, tunachukua maoni uh, public participation how critical is it to, uh, for us to make these decisions Um, kuna hii decision um, that uh, the ministry is implementing mm -hmm. kutumia two key subjects mm -hmm. actually ili tangazo august grading ili tumika kule katika yes, mama, katika mama, yeah. kusahihisha so, yeah, yeah. No. so kwenda mbele inamaanisha coops inafaa pia i, within the selection what take into account this so inamaanisha universities and institutions of higher learning need to be part of this conversation kama unataka ku recruit engineers unaambiwa angalia math na language is there anything else unataka kuangalia so you see now hapo uh, wale wao kama ulianguka hesabu dawa za hesabu iko kila mahali language unaweza pita english unaweza kiswahili but then how will we be able to determine that we are picking the correct people for the right course mm -hmm. i know uh, tunasema on one hand tunasema kuwa tunataka kupewa wengine chance when you easy compulsory five subjects when does it uh, nyepesi kwao mm -hmm. but uh, what are we doing to protect the courses that require seriousness mm -hmm. so you see uh, for any uh, policy tunaweka inafaa pia tunaiangalia mbele na nyuma uh, merit and you know merit mm -hmm. yeah
Angacha. Uh, Amecha tobua siri yako kwamba wewe unataka kuwa mm. uh, computer science. Uh, uh, kwa nini computer science? Yeah, I think kwa kitambo. Mm -hmm. Ndio ndio kwa nataka kuwa daktari, mpasuaji wa ubongo, anataka kuwa msanifu ramani. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Nikiwa hadi nikiwa primary even nikiwa high school. Mm -hmm hizo zote ni choices nilikuwa nimefikiria kuwa daktari but eventually i nikasettle on computer science mm -hmm. because kitu nikuja ku realize ni all along hadi tangu mtoto nikaendelea kuwa mkubwa nimekuwa na interest sana na mambo kuhusu mitambo kuhusu teknolojia na science eh yeah. mm -hmm. kwa hivyo kilichokuvutia zaidi ni nini wewe mwenyewe ulikuwa na ari toka zamani eh yeah. no. so ni kitu hadi mamangu alikuwa ameona tangu nikiwa mtoto na Orlando can advise hii unakaa ni kitu unaweza fanya vizuri na nikamsikiza eventually after kufanya research nikiwa form 4 kasema this is what i want to do ulikuwa umejiwekea malengo mangapi katika katika zile kozi ambazo ungetaka kuzifanya iwapo usingepata hiki ungepata hiki ungepata hiki ulikuwa umejiwekea vipi labda alikuwa amefikiria naweza enda computer science data science mhm mm nifanye IT mm -hmm. software engineering hizo mm hizo -hmm. ndio ilikuwa the top of my mind nikienda kufanya KCSE mm -hmm. I'm working to get this course mm -hmm. these and these courses if this doesn't work out I can always go to something else Uh, umuhimu wa wanafunzi labda kujiwekea malengo kama hayo kama data science IT software engineering umuhimu wake ni gani labda tukimshauri yule ambaye yupo shuleni sasa hivi ambaye yuko shuleni ni vizuri ujue during your form 4 usifanye tu KCSE just for the sake unafanya KCSE eventually ndo ingia campus mm -hmm. a campus ya eventually lazima utachagua course mm -hmm. so ni muhimu sana ukienda kufanya KCSE uko umejipanga na ile course, course that you want to do ile course unataka and if plan A doesn't work you can always have a plan B something that will still get your job ukimaliza campus mm -hmm. yeah ni umezungumzia kwamba wewe ni mshauri na saha katika ma, maswala haya ya kutafuta kozi. Mm -hmm. Umuhimu wa kuweka uh, mipango ama malengo kwamba niko na kama alivyosema yeye computer science ilikuwa ndo mpango wake A. Mpango wake B ikawa ni data science. Alikuwa na mipango minne katika maisha yake. Muhimu wa kuwa na mipango kama hii ni ipi? hii inamaanisha kuwa unajielewa mm -hmm. uh, career development um, ama hii uh, hii guidance ni kitu inafaa ianze bila maelezea inaanza nyumbani tuseme hata kabla uende shule ni kukiwa na usaidizi wa wazazi na jamii kuna watoto unaweza ona huyu ni talanta yake ni kitu fulani huyu talanta yake ni kitu fulani hata kuwa daktari kuna ndio wanasema hizi ni course mzuri but uenda kuna mtu their personality haiwezi mruhusu kuwa daktari mm -hmm. so at least inafaa ku make sure mtoto anajielewa so umuhimu wa kuwa na hizo uh, you know uh, mipangilio ni kuwa una align uh, academic capabilities na passion na interest na you know, na personality bila mm -hmm. wewe uko mm -hmm. uh, you see as a parent as a teacher or as any uh, guide inafaa una understand na una shirikisha huu mtoto katika kujielewa na katika kuangalia pia huku nje kuna uh, the changing world for example i'm not sure maybe i think pia amekuwa kiangalia angalia saa hii kuna the ais zinakuja mm -hmm. uh, the landscape ya employment inabadilika mm -hmm. vitu zinabadilika within the it sector mm -hmm. so there are many things kuangalia so that by the time mtu anapata hizi grades akienda kufanya hiyo kuchagua subjects au nje mm -hmm. lakini kama hukuwa na mpangilio unapata kutapatapa kila mahali you no know? sasa anarusho mahali yote by the time anaenda chuo kikuu ana lose hope ana drop because ashkanishi 
but then here yeah. huenda ndio sababu wengi wanaitwa udaktari wanafeli wanabaki kwamba hao wezi kwa sababu hawako na plan A B na C ya yeah, huenda ni sababu kwa sababu uh, siko sure kama ningekuwa daktari mm. because kuona damu or something like that for me it like uh, nitakuwa shocked mm -hmm. so but then kuna alafu there are many other things you look at so watoto wanafaa waambiwa wakiwa wadogo uh, i know kila mtu anataka kuwa daktari anyway ukiwa class 4 mm -hmm. <laughs> wangu anaimba nyumbani anataka kuwa firefighter ni <laughs> mtoto wa yeah. kike yeah. so saa nyingine nakaa mm -hmm. lakini nasema tuta oh. tutapambana yeah, na hii baadaye why it a met, metamorphosize atafika mahali aseme now ni mwana si firefighter <laughs> ni mwana anaweza na, kuwa engineer mhandisi wa tuseme ama barabara mm -hmm. ama afike mahali apata kwa na talanda ya kuchora abadilisha kuwa atakuwa architect na landscaping something so inategemea uh, there are many options for a child uh, but so anafaa aunganishe hizo talent passions na grades zake mm -hmm. so you were akiangalizi subjects gani zina align na interest zake and we all have to uh, we have a part to play in all this mm -hmm. including wazazi shule na jamii so i think um, the challenge tuko nayo kwa saa hii shule are so focused on the grades mm -hmm. but then they forget the student because core curricular activities in corona class i am not sure if they really had enough time to do core curricular activities and i think i don't know i hopefully we will not have a generational gap with people kama wajielewi in what we are selecting umuuliza swali la kizushi itabidi tu alijibu kando la masomo unadhani wewe ukaambiwa sasa hivi hauwezi fanya sio aeronautical wewe fanya computer science unaweza fanya nini kingine ambacho ni cha wewe mwenyewe na mikono yako labda talanta yako tofauti na na masomo ah mimi hata kitambo nimeishi ita penda kuchora. Mm -hmm. Nikiwa nyumbani mambo tuna art kiasi. Taketi chini za zangu ni chore. So nikituuliza akili sana. Mm -hmm. uh, that the main thing nimekuwa nikifanya the end of hobby that for me. Umemchora Glen mara ngapi? Eh kichora Glen. Na mka kuna time nilimchoranga once akiwa akiwa mtoto. Mm -hmm once very like ni kwa kitambo sana aliridhika na hiyo uchoraji ama ah uh, yeah jua ni ile ndugu yango lazima tu ata criticize la tatu ata criticize tu mm. ah like ni did a good job umemzungumzia wazazi wako umemtaja mama mm. umesema wazazi wako wamekuwa katika Uh, uti wa mgongo wa matokeo yako. Yeah. Uh, wazazi wako nadhani wame, wamecheza nafasi gani ama wamekuwa nafasi gani ya muhimu sana katika kufanikiwa kwako na maisha yako ya kesho? Uh, Wamekulea vipi labda? Wazazi wangu wameendelea vizuri. Maisha yangu yote ameishi kuendelea na a lot of discipline. Alisema discipline hii maisha ni namba 1 bila discipline hadi uko na talanta inakaaje uko na akili inakaaje watu waifika mbali wazo wa mshindo wa kiniombea especially during this last year during the KCSE period then bado wamekuwa kingangana na fees juu ya kumoka nime nimefukuzwa shule around twice okay thrice lakini like two times ndio nilifika nyumbani that time nilifika kabla nimefika home but even through all that skuta kwa sungua because i know I knew that they were doing their best and all i could do ni kuenda tu kuendelea tu na masomo just keep going eventually go mungu angetengeneza njia no uta unataka kuambia nini leo hii wazazi wangu mimi nataka kuambia that all my high school period any time is out of a reason kusoma edu sazingu na joy school maisha kwa ngumu na sometimes tuna some motivation to kuendelea kusoma as in the one thing that kept me going especially my dad budango alikuwa mkama pema sana ni mwalimu and principal wa lekud schools kokoma rock ana mkama pema sana anaenda kazi 
anapata uh, stress huko baada tarudi nyumbani ako stress atakataki kuongea always always on the phone making calls so nilikuwa naona hivyo anasema hakuna venye mdangu anaweza pita stress mm-hmm. akiwa shule akiwa home still is still the provider but mimi ni kuja ni mletea stress zangu za masomo so ni lisema especially during after that from two incident nilisema yoni kitu ita happen so to my parents my dad and mom santi sana you are any time i felt like giving up you are the ones that were on my mind first thing came to my mind ilikuwa nyinyi asante maseru kwa dakika moja neno lako la mwisho uh, amenivuta sana katika kauli za kesi za mwisho mhm ah ningesema congratulations because uh, <coughs> ni vizuri kusikia kwa kuna wazazi ambao wanatembea na watoto wao na pia kwa upande wake amesema uh, anajielewa kwa sababu nidhamu ni kitu ya muhimu you know kama huko uh, disciplined uh, shule ni institution iko na rules expectations and they are meant to guide you you kukua you know ku achieve your goals so ukuwe na uhusiano mwema na wanafunzi wenzako na walimu uh, maintain nidhamu of course uh, opportunity ya ku have fun ikitokea yes have fun but then all in all uh, i think we have a role to play as a nation to uh, make sure kuwa tunakuza hawa uh, vijana ndio uh, nguza ya next you know watakao drive the nation forward mm-hmm. at one point hawa ndio viongozi ambao tunatarajia so uh, it's good that uh, wa, wa, wanajielewa hivi mapema na kuna wazazi ambao pia wanahusika na wa, you know shughuli za watoto wao mm-hmm. so ningependa tu kuahimiza let us all uh, rally behind them uh, but then uh, serikali pia um, inafai to ihusishe kila stakeholder you know um, katiba inasema kuna public participation but then to what extent do the public really participate you know siku hiyo tu conference hapo unaandika tu jina for the pale from bili kumbe you know idea ilikuwa iko tu uko tayari mm. yeah so hata huko kitu au uende public participation make your voice heard mm-hmm. usiende tu kwa sababu ulienda tembea tembea hapo ukiwa ya waya kidogo alafu yeah so uh, that, that is it asante <laughs> sana benson masero ambaye ni manager wa mipango na strategia kutoka shirika la education for all children uh, katika tawi la kenya pia nimshukuru sana uh, ngacha ambaye pia amekuja studio ni mmoja wa watahini wanaofanya vyema katika mtihani wa KCC mwaka 2025 akipata alama ya ahasi kutoka shule uh, ya moranga hai ni washukuru wote lakini nikwambie hivi kama una malengo katika maisha utaweza kuyafikia hakikisha unayafanyia kazi malengo yako usiweze tu kuweka malengo ambayo huwezi kuyafikia fanya bidii uweze kuyafikia na mzazi pia jitume manake wewe pia ni uti muhimu sana katika kuhakikisha mwanao anafikia malengo yake usiwaachie walimu peke yake wewe pia una jukumu kufikia hapo sio la ziada la kutamatisha jarida jumanne hii niseme kwa heri ubaki na wigi wa khairi mimi ni Suleiman